Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Firefox 54, which was released on June 13th, 2017. There was nothing much in this update as you can see from the release notes, apart from Mozilla enabling multiple content processors in Project Electrolysis or E10S. So I thought I'll do a quick recap on some of the major changes that were implemented in the last three updates in 2017. In 2016, Mozilla focused a lot of the efforts on Project E10S, a multi-process architecture, which essentially splits up the browser into multiple processes to improve responsiveness, stability, and security of the browser. I personally saw a significant difference in browser performance when multiple processes was enabled on my browser. The work on this project continues and I hope to see more improvements being implemented in 2017. Another big project that Mozilla has undertaken is Project Quantum, which is Mozilla's ambitious plan to create the next generation web engine. This project plans to leverage modern hardware to improve browser performance and prevent crashes. They've already seen positive results for browsers that were enabled with Quantum Compositor, which is one of the components of Project Quantum. For the rest of 2017, we can expect to see and hear more on Project Quantum and hopefully improved browser performance. In Firefox 51, Mozilla added support for WebGL2, which is a JavaScript API for rendering interactive 2D and 3D computer graphics without the need for plugins. WebGL2 comes with many new features, mostly focused towards increased performance and visual fidelity. Mozilla also implemented some security enhancements. In Firefox 51, Mozilla introduced a new warning signal when visiting websites that do not have a secure connection. In Firefox 52, this feature was further enhanced and you will now see this warning message on login fields similar to this one. So these were some of the major changes that were implemented in Firefox in 2017 and you can check this Firefox review for more details on all the other changes that were implemented in 2017. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.